Good morning, this is Bill Costanzo, Livestock Guardian Dog Specialist at the AgriLife Center in San Angelo. This morning I'm going to give you guys kind of an update on a whodunit story um, or mystery that we have uh, with some of the pups in the Livestock Guardian Dog Bonding Project. Um, so today I have two of the pups with us. Uh, there's Waylon here, which you can obviously tell Waylon's got some injuries that he's incurred. And then the other pup here is Johnny. Johnny's obviously a lot more calmer. As you can tell, Waylon's whining and much more high strung and uh, oh, the aggressive of the, of the three pups that we have out here currently. So all of our pups have GPS trackers on them. That's what's on this poster. These are points um, oh, from May the 6th of Waylon. And uh, each one of these points or these squares or circles that are on here is a location that the GPS tracker pinged for Waylon during that day. Um, so before we kind of get to some more of the mystery, um, oh, I wanted to talk to you guys about the bonding pins that we have here. So currently, we're standing in this location right here in this big pasture. And so <clears throat> behind me here is a one acre bonding pen that we have. Uh, the pups start out in a 60 by 60 enclosure inside of this pen um, right after they're weaned. They spend about eight weeks um, total inside here. They spend a month in the 60 by 60 enclosure and then we release them into the one acre enclosure for about another month. Uh, once the pups are, are done in here, um, oh, they get released out into this 100 acre pasture that you can see here outlined in red. What we're trying to determine um, by bonding the pups here is uh, whether hot wire has any effect on keeping the pups inside the pastures once they're released. And so um, this is Waylon's bonding pen. This is where he was raised for the first uh, two months that we had him. And then him and the other pups were released out into this 100 acre pasture. And so part of the uh, oh, mystery that we're trying to solve is by using the GPS trackers on the pups to see what happened to Waylon and how he got injured. And so, as I mentioned, this was uh, May the 6th here. On May the 7th, I checked on Waylon and uh, he and the other pups were hanging out in the different bonding pen locations, as you can tell here by his GPS points. Again, this is a location that we were at here in the 100 acre pasture. You can see there's a whole bunch of um, points here. And then this is the other location of the bonding pen down at this end. So I checked on him that day. Um, oh, he was okay. And then on, at some point between the morning of the 7th and uh, late afternoon on May the 8th, Waylon was attacked by something. Now we do have um, oh, feral hogs in this area. There's also some javelinas that come through once in a while. But behind me, uh, we had an adult uh, female livestock guardian dog that was guarding some sheep. And so, um, there haven't been any issues up until May the 8th between the dogs. They definitely have seen each other and they know that each other is here in these different pastures. So, um, oh, when Waylon was checked on in that afternoon, he was down here by his bonding pen and he was injured. And so we had to take him to the vet and he had to get, uh, oh, stitches in several different places. As you can see, his wounds are still healing at this point in time. So my initial uh, thought was that based on where Waylon normally hangs out by the GPS points, he must have gotten through the fence line somewhere here um, because the other female dog that we have generally doesn't roam. And so I did find a slide and so I figured, well, Waylon must have got through and since he's more aggressive by nature, he probably wasn't submissive like his two brothers and so he got into a fight with the female dog. Um, after uh, reviewing the GPS data and then also the information from the vet, uh, we determined that it was some sort of an uh, adult dog that attacked Waylon by the location of the bites and just the, the size and, and type of the injuries. So I reviewed the uh, GPS data and, and looked at times and I found that both dogs, both Waylon and the female dog that we had, were in this location at the other end of this pasture at the same time, within a few minutes of each other. Now we don't have definite proof that it was her that attacked him, um, but it's just a, a logical guess based on the uh, timestamps of the GPS points between the two dogs. Um, oh, one of the nice things about the GPS trackers, if you're using them on your dogs, is you'll be able to tell um, if somebody says, hey, you know, your guardian dog attacked my sheep or attacked my dog or um, oh, is over at my house. Uh, you can pull this information up and easily tell where your dog was at. And so you'll have proof that either yes, it was my dog or no, it wasn't my dog just by the GPS points um, on the map. So it's really helpful to have GPS trackers on your dogs. Um, oh, the ones that we have on the pups now are from Digital Matters. They're the Oyster and they work out really great for us. Um, they have good battery life and they're waterproof. 
And so those are the trackers that we're currently using. Uh, if you have any questions about GPS trackers or you want more of an update on what happened to Wayland, uh, feel free to give us a call at the AgriLife Center. Thank you very much for watching.